Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. Here we daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back. Again and again and again. Um, it is an earlier morning for us. James, we got up early. So we've just been playing. Wow, who would have thought December 30th I'd be out here on an actual outdoor run. It's warm-ish in Chicago today. So he is out on the lakefront run. Um, and I just got to change our countdown to Disney to three. Three days. It is Friday, and we leave on Monday. Wild to think that that's, that feels seven degrees hotter than it was like the other day. Um, but yeah, 44 degrees. It's gonna get colder and colder all day long. Down till it's down like 28, I think. It was 55 at midnight. It's 44 right now, and we'll get down to 28 later. But getting six miles on the legs feels great. It's great to be running outside again. I missed this, and uh, I. I It'll still be a few more months before this is attainable regularly again. So I'm gonna take advantage of lakefront runs whenever I can. Happy Friday. Hi, Teddy. What the heck? <gasps> so Teddy and I have just been playing while Peter puts James down for a nap. Um, we've kind of been iffy. I don't know if you've just heard him. Um, with sleep lately but it feels silly to be like let's start this a new like come up with a solution when we're gonna be gone for two whole weeks so we're just riding the sleep waves right now he's very busy um but yeah we're not gonna be in our typical situation so we're just gonna have to give ourselves grace but we do have a plan with sleep i think like every time you travel with kids they're at an, a new place like developmentally and in their schedules and stuff and you kind of just like have to roll with the punches and so um along the way we'll give like what works for us and what doesn't um you guys are always interested in traveling with kids and so this is the first time we're road tripping with a toddler a baby and a dog we've only traveled by airplane with them um and so yeah i'll be I'll, ha I'll have to share. Excuse me. He's ready. He's ready for Disney World. He's got, he's got his Mickey. Pre he's got his Mickey premium bar. Look at his feet going. Kick, kick, kick. But yeah, we'll definitely share what works and doesn't work there. I will say, like, my go-to advice for anyone, like, just right off the cuff, is snacks, food, and snacks, and bottles, and that's that's my biggest thing. Is, Keep the kids well fed. And keep us well fed too. We're gonna see if Teddy likes Goofy Movie as much as James. Jewel was bumping just now. I didn't even really want to like film much because it was like you were constantly in people's way. I mean, I guess. It's New Year's, Friday before New Year's Eve. Um, but anyway, we are not going out for New Year's Eve, obviously, because we are keeping the Jermies at bay um, before we travel. So I was going to Jewel for stamps because I am getting our um, Christmas cards out. And then I needed charcuterie for our Friday. We already like, we still had some left from Christmas. So it wasn't as big of like, or exciting, I guess of a haul, but we're gonna have that as a little snack when I get back. Um, and then I just got frozen pizza and just like, not even that much, just like sneaky snack stuff for New Year's because we still wanna make it special and fun. So we got the frozen pizza. I'm gonna make like little wiener sausages and barbecue sauce and um, we got sparkling grape juice and I found a cranberry ginger ale. So, that's that's what that's what I was out shopping for. Just a little 
a little spread for the weekend. Um, but James was fighting the nap earlier and I was like, why don't I just bring him with? It's not so cold out. It's so crazy, like now 40 degrees is like pleasant. And our old faithful trick of getting him to fall asleep in the stroller worked. So it's not too late. Um, he'll get a nice snooze in. And then we celebrate, it's Friday, Peter is officially off of work until we're in Florida. I'm officially done with work until Wednesday. I'm off on Monday for the holiday and then Tuesday I'm taking off because we'll be driving still. Tell you what from my nap and Sarah got charcuterie supplies. Yeah. But I have to walk a bunch of cards over to the mailbox because Sarah finally completed. I've sent out cards. Christmas cards later than this before. Oh yeah, <laughs> I feel like we've did send them after, for, after the first of the year before. So, yeah. I'm going to take a walk over and deposit those Thank and then you. charcuterie. I think he woke up with more hair. I think he did too. I had the same thought I picked up really? from the bed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he did take really long naps today. Maybe he's, he's he was growing. sprouting. Are you blondie? It's a little dark, but it does have spots of blood, I think. Let's go make a charcuterie board. <laughs> Let's go make a charcuterie board. <laughs> Look at those teeth. Okay, but like, I need to work on my presentation skills. I do not realize the room I'm working with. Let me just, just like squeeze things in on the side. Okay, we got cranberry cheese. We got sopressata with mozzarella. We got salami. We got rice crackers. We got cheddar. We got pepperoni. And we got everything crackers. That looks gross, but it... <laughs> <laughs> that looks revolting. Um, it's a little caramelized onion spread. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Whoa, is it too much? Is it too much? No, he likes the thrill. Mm. It's a mommy, daddy, teddy date. <laughs> this paisan would be very happy. Tu piaccia. <laughs> What did you say? Did you like it? Mm. You know it's New Year's weekend when you wake up from a nap like this. <laughs> no shoes, jacket, hood out, hat coming off. You Gavin DeGraw? Right, where's the warehouse party at? What's the address? Give me the digits. All right, you friends, we're doing dinner. I'm going to try those little tofu rice wrap situation again, but I want to make the tofu better this time. And so I'm lightly pressing it with this paper towel. I got Lady Gaga on, I might have to pause her. Well, I have sorry news. I have no garlic. I don't have garlic powder, I don't have a jar of minced garlic, and I don't have fresh garlic. Usually I have all three. It's kind of blasphemous that I don't. Um, I'm sure when Peter cleaned out the, the fridge for Christmas Eve, our fresh garlic, we got like a, a peeled bag. He probably got rid of it. So for this, I want to like kind of have to make up the chili sauce. Um, I have roasted garlic hummus, but it's not really like hummusy, creamy texture. So I'm only gonna use a little bit so it doesn't like overpower. Um, hopefully it'll be, it'll still taste good. Okay, so in here I have rice wine vinegar, avocado oil, the spoonful of garlic hummus. I'm gonna add in my spices now, some crushed red pepper. Hold on, kind of a lot of red pepper. So a decent heap. And then I'm adding in some coriander, a little bit of, oh gosh, <laughs> some sriracha, but don't drop it on the floor like I did. Add some onion powder and salt. We're starting to celebrate early for St. Patrick's Day. Hey! All these kids are just dancing. Oh, he's baking. Another blasphemous thing that we don't have right now is soy sauce. But our pot stickers probably come with a little bag of something in them, like the frozen bag. Um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of that in there too. Jeez, <laughs> these cook with me sometimes. I'm just, I'm just doing my best. You know, pot stickers, I'm just throwing them straight on a pan um, with some avocado oil. 
And now for this tofu, I did three towels worth of trying to dry it out a bit. I'm gonna slice it in half so that it can get a little bit more flavor this time. We to go check on Sarah to make sure everything was moving swimmingly. And I came out to Rusty being put to bed. <laughs> so I got him searing on this little grill pan. I think this is gonna work out much better this time um, with a little avocado oil, salt, and pepper and chili powder. Just a little, a little seasoning. We want the food right now. <laughs> we want the food. We got Andy Warhol over here. Dead hair. You ready for pot stickers? He needs help though. Alrighty, we got our pot stickers. The seared tofu turned out great. This one did have a little bit of the searedness left behind, so I would just suggest like flipping it twice, being generous with your oil. So we got rice on one side, tofu on the other. I'm gonna pour the chili sauce on top. We each have our own little packet of seaweed snack. And so make little sandwiches right in, right in the seaweed. A little rice and then a little tofu. Mwah. It's Irish dancing time. Do a little jig. I don't know how. Pretend. There you go. She's being modest. I came out here and they were both stomping their grounds. Want to drink? So I also got cranberry ginger ale today to ring in the New Year question mark? Yeah. It's the holiday time. I wasn't even recording any of that. How much? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogger jokes. Insert magical pixie dust sound clip here. I just finally like found a spot for all of the toys, the new toys. And I know it's gonna change, like we're gonna be gone a while. Um, but this feels good. It took a while. All right, it is late. But the kids are asleep, so we're gonna call it. So we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow's probably gonna be a fair amount of like cleaning and like beginning to prep for the road trip that we leave. Um, um Monday for well and tomorrow's New Year's Eve. So um when you guys are watching this tomorrow, have a safe and happy New Year's. We wish you every all the good vibes and everything in the 2023. Um I want to talk tomorrow about a little something I'm gonna do in 2023 in regards to running. Not really a goal, but accountability. So it's shifting mindset there. So I'm excited about that. I don't even think I told Sarah about it, but uh that'll be coming your way. And I have to clean the car tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's like cleaning. And then we're supposed to get new luggage tomorrow delivered, but it could it's gonna be before 10 p.m. So it could be noon. It would be great because we can start packing for the trip. Um, or it could be like 9 30 p.m., in which case it'd probably be too late. I mean like we're gonna be up till the new year, so I don't know. We'll see. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.